Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today I'll be taking you guys through the paintwork on the bonnet on this Peugeot 2008 GT. The main reason I'm actually doing this video is because I reckon this colour here is the best factory colour I've ever seen. As you can see on screen there, the name of the colour is Blue Vertigo and there's a couple of separate paint codes. So if you're looking for it, just try typing those two different paint codes in. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't have too much trouble trying to find it. But this is a colour that, like, um, my boss walked into the paint room and he was giving out my next job. And he said, I'll come out and have a look at this job. He, he went through the job with me. Um, and I said, wow, like, as soon as I saw that colour, I'm like, wow, man, that's awesome. I love that colour. Um, I'm actually a big fan of blues myself. And to me, this is like a nice, bright, vibrant blue. Um, but there's a twist to it. It's actually a three stage. So it's not actually a candy, but it's just like solid color blue base coat mixed with an intercoat, which is just like clear base coat. And that goes over the top of the pearl and it gives it a really cool effect. So I did this just to remind myself to show you guys that even when I'm prep soling these days, I wear my respirator. The eye protection is not so important, but um, the breathing protection and the gloves is actually pretty important when you're prep soling. I think so anyway. Um, I've made a bit of a mention to that on my RAW channel, but I do know that not everybody watches my RAW channel. Um, but yeah, for those of you who follow my main channel, I think this is the first time I'm mentioning it. But um, I've noticed it specifically when I started working at this shop. I actually started getting like a burning sensation in my nose and it turned out it was from breathing in the Prepsol fumes. So prior to working here, I'd never even thought of wearing a, a respirator when I was Prepsoling. But yeah, as it turns out, that's what it was. And I think it's like specifically these low bake booths, the filters, like the floor filters clog up really quickly, especially when you're using water base. So yeah, the fumes seem to be hanging around a little bit longer. But anyway, before I go off on too much of a tangent, let's just keep going on with the paintwork on this. So uh, as you may have noticed earlier, um, there was some bird poo stains. So that's all this car was in for. It's actually a brand new car. You may have noticed that it didn't even have any number plates on it yet. Um, but yeah, there was just a few stains from um, bird poo on the bonnet. Um, now, whenever I do a color like this, I will always do a color card first. So I use the Spectro. I've been having some sort of hit and miss results with the Spectro lately through PPG. Um, but look, it's it's been improving. I had one of the PPG reps come out recently and he showed me a, a couple of methods that he does to improve the color matches. Um, but yeah, like I wouldn't say that the PPG colors are anywhere near as good as the Standox colors, but um, yeah, the long and the short of it, he just said take two readings. So it's it's not something that I've ever had to do. I, or I never would have even thought of doing that, to be honest. But he says, yeah, take two readings and it seems to be working. So um, I'm not complaining. Um, improving the color matching results is always a good thing. But as it turned out with this color here, all I had to do was just add a little bit of the effect additive. So the metallic particles were just a little bit too small, so I added a nice dollop of the effect additive, which makes the metallic particles stand up, and it was great. So I, I, I did my own little spray out, I cleared it down, put it in my little color library, so next time this color comes in, I've got that color filed away, and I know exactly how to find it, and I shouldn't have to do another spray out. So that's always a good thing. Now what we're doing here, this is the intercoat that I was telling you about. So the first couple of coats, that's just a normal metallic, you know. Um, but this coat here, this is, as I said, just a little bit of blue mixed with some transparent base coat. Now when it's in the gun, it looks all milky, but that's just because it's water-based paint. Uh, and yeah, the water-based paint sort of looks a bit white and blue uh, and sort of milky when it's wet, but then it dries out and it clears right up. So. This is one thing that happened um, on my last coat, as you can notice there, I, I got like a, a bit of a white speck. It always happens, like it always happens when you're doing a three stage. On your very last coat, you'll get like a little black or a white speck in your paintwork. So as you see, I just rolled up a little bit of masking tape and then just carefully holding my hand so I'm not touching the bonnet. Um, carefully picked it out. I actually had an idea for a product. You know, you could make these single use uh, picks to pick out little bits of shit from your paintwork. I got as far as a name. I was going to call them shit pickers, and then I thought, you know what? 
I might have to keep working on that. They might not sell too well. Anyway, continuing on with the clear coat. So the clear coat I'm using, well, it was either 136 or D8173. I think it was the LVC136 back then. Um, I actually painted this job a couple of months ago, but I'm just getting around to editing it. Um, and yeah, here in Australia, we've got like some pretty serious supply chain issues with the um, the, the materials for the clear coats and that. But um, yeah, I think this is the 136 clear, but yeah, we have run out of it at the moment. Um, but yeah, I don't know, PPG is a funny one. Like when everything seems to be smiling upon you, you'll get really good results and then you'll do it, you'll feel like you're doing exactly the same thing the next day and the clear will go on all chunky and orange peely. Um, so obviously I've waited between each coat. I've cut the, uh, the flash times out. But what I've been doing these days, and I did it on this job too, what I've been doing is hitting bake for five minutes, so a five minute bake at 60 degrees. So pretty much it, all it does is gets the booth up to 60 and then it cools back down. But what that does is it gets the gases and the fumes out of the first coat of clear coat and it allows you to put the second coat on without trapping all the fumes of the first coat in there because what can end up happening and what was happening for me um, was I was getting a lot of solvent boil which solvent boil is all the fumes um, not like it'll skin over on the top and then the fumes are trapped inside they've got to go somewhere so they pop on the inside and then you, your paintwork ends up just looking crap really like you lose all your gloss and you can kind of bring it up with a buff but even then once those little um, air bubbles are in there from the solvent releasing they're always going to be there and you've got an inferior finish so yeah I've found especially with this um, you know it's a ultra high solids clear coat that we're using here so Again, it, it, it takes a, quite a fair bit of reducer as well. It's, um, there's a few different thinning ratios that you can do. Um, it's up to you how much you put in, but I've found more is better with this clear because if you don't put enough in, then it goes all chunky. As you can see here, I did get a nice finish with it. Um, and if I had have gone that wet without baking, I can guarantee you like 100% that it would have died, like the gloss would have died. So yeah, I've just found that that five minute bake really helped. But yeah, if it wasn't for how good the color was, I probably wouldn't have even bothered doing a video on this. But isn't that just one hell of a beautiful blue? I don't know if you like blues. Obviously, it's just subjective. Look, I think this is better than Soul Red Crystal. Everyone seems to love Soul Red Crystal. But I don't know, maybe it's just that I've painted one too many of them. But I don't think it's that special of a color. You get that Soul Red Crystal next to a real candy, and it doesn't actually look that good. But yeah, there you go guys, something a little bit different than what we've been doing um, as of late. We've been doing a lot of the uh, paint work from home. I just thought I would show you guys this car and how cool I reckon this color is. But if you would like to support the channel, be sure to go and check out all the merchandise that we've got. There's a link in the description. There's also a join button feature now. So if you want to join the channel, be sure to do that. Obviously, no pressure. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically like a... Um, Patreon type thing but straight through YouTube so again don't feel pressured into it it's you know nothing's going to change everyone's still going to get the same videos but if you want to um, support the channel further yeah be welcome you're welcome to do that think of it you know like buying gunny a beer once a month or something but yeah anyway hope you've all been well until next time get out there and paint some shit coming out